Hi everyone, I am here. I wanted to um, give you guys an update on day four of pre-transplant. I am right now back here at the Gabriel house. I don't know if you can see what it kind of looks like. Um, upstairs in the Gabriel house on the second floor in the dining room. I'm sorry, living room area. I got my shots today, so I got the clearance from Dr. Alawadi to go ahead with the transplant process. I'm clear for it. Um, good news, very good news. Uh, remember when I had my bone marrow biopsy in September, I was only, I was only at 20% still in my bones. It didn't get to zero. The greatest news is all these prayers are working because I got below 1%, less than 1%, and it's probably just normal plasma cells. The what's called MRD will be back in the next couple days and it will say whether it's completely eradicated or not. So yay, Dara worked, it's worked. Um, I do have the biclonocomopathy, but that's okay because the transplant should help get rid of that. And I am so excited. I got my um, the two shots today for the Nuprazil, I think I'm saying it right. I'm probably saying it wrong, <laughs> but it's to allow the white blood cells to um, produce stem cells in my body. So that's what I'm kind of going through right now. They should put two shots in my stomach. And it is um, painful, but not as bad as I thought it would be. Kind of like a flu. It makes your bones really ache, but it's okay. Like, I'm getting through it okay. I'm just resting right now, um, watching the Roku and just try and hang out here in the Gabriel house. So this is my update for right now. I wanted to let you guys know, and um, thank you for following along in this journey with me, and um, I will let you know how it goes the rest of the weekend. I have, today was my first day, tomorrow's my second day of the shots, and then Sunday is my third day, Monday is my fourth day, and then Monday night they give me Mobazil, and that is to the last chance to help them build. And then now Tuesday morning, I have my next surgery where they uh, put the tricatheter in me. And, and then after that, I'm gonna have my first collection where they collect stem cells. The amount we want to reach is around 8 million. 4 million for each one would be really great numbers. If it's 4 million, then they're gonna do it all as just one stem cell transplant. If I can get more than that, anywhere between maybe six and a half to eight, then I can freeze some for a second transplant. I did find out today that good news is with the DARA, I might be able to go five years with this for a remission status is what to shoot for. But then if I go for a second um, transplant and I'd last it five years with the first one, it's only a third instead of half-life. So I'll only be good for about two years on the second one. So that's okay. It's at least it's they'll probably have a cure by then. That's the hope, right? So I love you guys. That's kind of the latest update and I will talk to you soon. Bye.